is on why uh, wealthier individuals are successful from the author of the book that you know, hundreds of thousands of people have purchased right after this. I'm just looking at some of the Rich Habits training program. I will form good daily habits and follow these good habits each and every day. I will engage in self-improvement. I will devote part of each day to caring for my health. I will save 10% of my gross income. I will control my thoughts and emotions. How can you control your thoughts and emotions every day? Well, do you follow your own advice? I, I do, Larry. I, I listen. We, I come from an uh, uh, Irish Catholic family. We had 11 in our family. And anger was the primary emotion. So uh, we, I learned to control my anger. And I, I really, I, when I talk to uh, the, the young kids about uh, the rich habits, I tell them, look, anger is the most costly emotion that you have because it's going to cost you relationships. It takes a lot out of you. It, it, it's a draining f physically. Uh, you don't think clearly and uh, you're not responding accurately to the situation, whatever you're in. So uh, you want to develop strong relationships in life. Wealthy people know that if they're going to, uh, relationships are the currency of the wealthy, they control their anger. They don't want their uh, customers, their clients, their business partners uh, to be nervous to be around them and work with them. So anger is one of the emotions that the wealthy really uh, go out on a limb to try and control. Yeah, here's something you got, you got to be, be interested in. The, the uh, habits, example one, what you eat every day. Now this, this is amazing. 70% of wealthy and, and le eat less than 300 junk food calories per day. 97% of poor people eat more than 300 junk food calories per day. Working out, 76% of wealthy exercise aerobically, 23% of poor exercise aerobically four days a week. Uh, not bad. And TV viewing. Oh, they're not going to like this one. 67% of wealthy watch one hour or less of TV every day. 25% of the other income watch one hour or less of TV every day. Early to rise, 44% 40 of wealthy wake up three hours before work starts. Uh, 3% poor wake up three hours before workshop. So, you know, basically, I can understand why you got some critique about this book. Because yeah. it is a bit of, somewhat a bit of labeling, but it's, this is true, right? How did, you, how did you find all these stats? Well, I spent five years uh, studying 233 wealthy people and 128 poor people. I have over 200 activities that I tracked, and then I separated the activities into two groups, and then I compared the two groups, and then I came up with this uh, difference that I I think is the size of the Grand Canyon. It's, it's really a, a, a vast difference between how the wealthy live their lives on a daily basis and the poor do. Uh, but the poor may be happier. Well, one Maybe. of the things I, Larry, that's, that's a great point. Unfortunately, you're wrong. Uh, one, of the stat, one of the stats I tracked was, was, are you happy? And the wealthier by, were by far happier because they had fewer uh, financial issues. Uh, they had fewer relationship problems. Uh, they, uh, in fact, their relationships were stronger. And, and their marriages were stronger. That's another thing that I tracked. So the wealthy people were by far happier. The 